the advantages of, of MoMA over other deposits include the fact that everything is very proximate. Really, we're looking at a materials handling facility here. We dredge 22 million tonnes of product per annum and we export almost a million tonnes per annum. Dredge mining is well suited to this type of ore body. Um, it's electrically powered, and especially here in Mozambique where we can take the hydroelectric power from the Kahura Vaso Dam um, to run our dredges. Um, it means that it's uh, reasonably low cost, certainly much cheaper than, than being diesel powered. It also allows us to scale up um, to, a, to a size which is um, uh, suitable for this type of, this type of mining. Um, each of these dredges down here will, will mine about 2,000 tonnes per hour and that's difficult to achieve with a, with a traditional excavator. Dredge mining involves cutting the ore below the water surface here in the dredging pond, um, normally about 10 metres below the surface. Once, once the ore has been cut, we, we pump the slurry, the sand slurry, um, up into the wet concentration plant for, for further separation. The wet concentration process involves allowing the sand to pass over spirals, which are made of fibreglass, uh, and the heavy mineral uh, separates out from the clean sand. One of the uh, benefits of um, having a floating plant like this is that uh, it allows us to quickly get the tail sand, the clean sand, back into the mining void again uh, without pumping long distances. This plant produces heavy mineral concentrate, or HMC. Um, in, this, in this ore body, that is predominantly ilmenite. Um, there's also zircon and rutile, and a small, amount of, a small amount of trash minerals. The heavy mineral concentrate, or the HMC, is pumped from the wet plant here through to the dry mineral separation plant. Um, it's, it's pumped as a, as a liquid slurry, uh, where it's mixed, mixed just with water. Um, and that's the most efficient means of transporting from the, the floating plant here through to the dry separation plant. Rehabilitation starts about 6 to 12 months after the mining uh, takes place. Um, as soon as we can we, we're putting, filling the mining void with clean sand, then the topsoil is placed back on top of the tailing sand and then finally we plant any, any species that we want to grow in that topsoil again. What every company looks for in these situations is a large, long life deposit, and the MoMA deposit will run for certainly in excess of 100 years. The expansion will involve another plant, just like this one, and another big dredge. The second wet plant will require another, another crew, the same as we have here, a whole new um, a whole new earth moving fleet to, to clear the vegetation and clear the topsoil ahead and manage the tailings behind. At the end of that we will, um, we will have 50% uh, more uh, HMC to deliver to the MSP.